Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown, where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. We have a good one today. It's FN versus Springfield Armory, and I'm really looking forward to this. I think it will be very tight. But before we get into that, let me report the results from the last Handgun Showdown, where we matched up Versa versus Canik. And once the votes were tallied, Canik took it. Canik does very well with the Handgun Showdown series, and we could tally up another one for Canik. We have a good one here, so let's get into it. Let's begin with FN, and we'll start right here with the FN 509. Compact size handgun with a 4 inch barrel and magazines that carry 17 rounds. When they released the 509, a lot of people in the gun world loved it. They, they made some improvements, they improved the grip texturing they have additional back straps front serrations a full pick rail three dot sights all metal and a hinged trigger that breaks right at five and a half pounds with a very short and audible reset ambidextrous control so it is left-handed friendly and at the range it performs outstanding you know I, I always enjoyed FN handguns and the 509 it was no exception you know it, it just performs they call these battle ready and that has been my experience with it as well now they expanded the 509 line they have these in flat dark earth they have threaded barrels and optic ready this is a standard 509 and it just runs but over here we've got the fns 9c now i've owned this one for a long time and i took this to a training class and it performed outstanding it has a 3.6 inch barrel it's considered a subcompact handgun with magazines that carry 10 12 and 17 rounds it's loaded weight is 28 and a quarter ounces so many people carry this gun once again ambidextrous controls this one has night sights okay bought it that way standard with ambi controls and also a hinge trigger breaking at five and a half pounds okay same same trigger pull i i feel these identically and this has performed great too and at the range it's, it's outstanding it feels like a full-size handgun really enjoy it. it it's been great and i do i do think they are battle ready and they do a nice job and i certainly like them here we have springfield armory we'll start with the xdm elite 4.5 four and a half inch match grade barrel the elite models are improved it does have wider front and rear serrations 20 round magazines a flared out magwell and a flat face trigger that i'm measuring right at five pounds very nice trigger pull and a very accurate handgun i love taking this to the range and there's your reset it is feature loaded it has a striker fire indicator there a metal u rear sight and a fiber optic front sight loaded chamber indicator and the grip safety interchangeable back straps ambidextrous controls making it left-handed friendly it's a shooter at the range and i love taking this thing out great competition gun home defense you name it the xdms have a great reputation and i really like the elite models here we have the springfield hellcat now the hellcat's been around a while a lot of people are comfortable with the hellcat does have mags that carry 11 and 12 rounds here's an 11 round mag with an extension there for three figure contact very lightweight gun loaded with 12 rounds you're looking at 23 and a half ounces this also has a metal rear sight that is a u and a tritium front dot a sight hole indicator and also a five pound trigger also adaptive grip texturing everywhere the the hand grips you get that grip texturing not overly textured but i do like that trigger and this has been very reliable for me a lot of people are carrying the Hellcat. They feel comfortable with the Hellcat. It's gained a reputation that gives confidence. And they also make the OSP model. This has serrations that go all the way through. But they also have an OSP model optical sight pistol that is optic ready. They make optic ready for that one too. So Springfield, they're moving in the right direction. And they did very well with this Hellcat as well as the XDM Elite series. So which of these manufacturers do you feel makes the better handguns is it fn or springfield armory let me know in the comments i'll tally them up and report the results back with the next handgun showdown if you like videos like this please subscribe 
and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.